Holy Weekend podcast. Just had like six episodes. Back Our last episode kind of had like some technical difficulties uploading. So. That took a minute to come out, eh? Yeah, our bad. It's freeze though. Dizzle, Sunday back in this. Talk shit again. Start off with music. Another fucking versus battle. Ross vs. 2 Chains. I actually didn't watch this one, but I've seen some of the snippets. But I think this is a good one. Because low key, 2 Chains has a lot of hits. A lot. 2 Chains <laughs> got some music, but like, I watched the whole thing and yeah. he got smoked. Yeah, he got smoked? Yeah, 2 Rick Chains, Ross. you got smoked. Yo, fam, Rick Ross has bare music. Port of Miami alone is so much hits in that, too. The first album he ever dropped. Like and once he got into Maybach his music? Lex Luthor bag with the fucking BMF and all them type yes. of songs and shit, and there was no chance for fucking 2 chains. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry, man. But Rick Ross would go to toe-to-toe with a lot of people. I think he could take on Nelly, too. Bro. Nelly? I think he could. Yeah. Nelly already Down lost love battle. his fucking <laughs> verses, so we ain't gonna talk about Nelly no more. He got his ass smoked and hit. But Ross was my pick, and Ross killed him. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch all of it, so I can't really tell you too much. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. This guy was getting a fucking massage. Yeah. How many songs did they go with? Twenty. No, you didn't hear. He was getting a massage while, while they the were verse. doing this shit. Yeah, Ross is different. He <laughs> won. He won alone <laughs> out of strength of that. <laughs> what? Yeah, strippers there and shit. Like they actually turned theirs up. But this guy was getting a fucking massage. Of course, you're, the shirt came off, of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Rick Ross took off his fucking shirt. Then he got his ass a massage. Then he got clothed by the girl. Like, he looked like he had fun. He probably had the most fun out of anybody in any of the verses so far. Yeah. <laughs> he did it right, though. Where did do it? they do it in his house? Yeah, Plus, I think it was at, probably at Rick Ross's house. So they could do that. He could mm-hmm. do that still. <laughs> yeah, they had a little good setup still. Not bad. What do you think's next? Who do you think they're picking next? They haven't come up and said nothing yet. With the verses? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Let me think. I want them to go back R&B ways, though. Yeah. Hear we talked R&B about that last shit. time, the R&B. Yeah, I want to hear some R&B like... shit. You know? <laughs> I don't think nobody can see fucking... Like, right now, I don't think no one can see Usher comes to the R&B recently. Usher? Usher got some fucking R&B Since stuff. the 90s, he has hits. He's got some music still. But like, out well, of his class? Nobody out of his really class. With it. Probably not from his class. Yeah. Because he's, he's, he's pretty much been consistent his whole career. Some R&B artists take, like, big breaks and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's taking a. I haven't heard nothing like no album from him recently. I know he was on a. So I I heard a song with him on it though, so he's still making music. Can't remember the song I heard, but I heard him on a song recently. You know what though? I'd probably like to see. Uh, I know it's random. Probably like Massive P and P Diddy or somebody. On the songs they all help make. Mm-hmm. Like a verses like that. Something like everything, that. Everything, everything they've ever worked out with. I think Diddy would get Master P out of here still. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's going to be another Diddy, situation. I know Diddy would win, like, but it's not as easy what people think. It's like, gonna Master like P a has a lot. Like, Scott Storch versus Manny Fresh. Like, Master P is going to have that sound, but you go against someone like Diddy, he's going to have multiple sounds. It's not going to seem But fair. you got to take in Just how like much. the Manny Fresh one. You got to take in how much songs he had with Snoop alone. Remember, he took in. I don't know. I think I think it'd be a good one. I don't think he Diddy had the best win songs that Snoop made in just, his career. Just because Diddy has a lot of like R and B, like one twelve. That's what play. I'm saying. Like Diddy yeah. could get into whole different bags. Like he could get into the Mace bag after if he yeah. wants. The, the Mace is like I wouldn't put him against Master P, only because like I don't want to see Master P go out like oh, yo, maybe Master Birdman? P versus like Birdman. Or Birdman. Yeah, he could do Battle of the Week. Or Diddy versus or Birdman. Like that. That's that's more reasonable. I guess so, because Birdman has Drake and shit. Drake, Nicki. That might be a alright battle. Mm-hmm. Well, 
hopefully we find out who's next soon. First, I don't know. I'm still watching on Apple TV. I'm not watching on YouTube. Yeah, no. On on uh on Instagram, that shit is not. It's trash. Although like, I watched it on Apple, and then after I was looking at this shit on the phone, and like, you could see the whole floor and shit. There's beer money on it, but on Apple TV you couldn't. You couldn't. They probably cut that part out. Yeah. Or, so like, it's two different it. experiences, I guess. I think the comments are funny on Instagram. That's the only time. Mm. It's been a rough week though. Rough week. Yeah. Another another murder in Chicago. Another rapper is murdered. FP, FPG Duck. Rest in peace, FPG Duck. See, I hit songs like Slide and Right Now. Mm-hmm. And Chicago Legends. That was a big track too. More recent song, yeah. yeah. More recent. I don't know. I like FBG Duck, but it's so wild out there, man. Like, all of those guys that came out during Chief Keep It Heard are all, like, just going one by one. Yeah, man. Sad, God, I, you know? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how the rest of them deal with that. Like, so much death, bro. I don't know that much dead people, bro. That's, Especially to murder. Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't know how to react to something like that if I was them, to be honest. Kind of, it's kind of intense. He seemed like one of the most level-headed. Like he was, he was a sav. He was a savage. Don't get it twisted. But like he was more level-headed. He even like he made like Chicago legends like giving props to his ops. Like he it's did hard. do that. He tried to do he, it. He kind of. But then he made the diss track because mm-hmm. people kept dissing him, bro. You know, after he made Chicago legend because he was trying to like cool down the beef, but people kept dissing him, dissing him. What else are you gonna do? He dissed back. It's just a nasty cycle. He's, like, he's never gonna end. Him. I think him going right now is going to be a terrible, terrible couple of years in Chicago. Because this shit is not stopping. You hear what my boy said? is like, better strap up, basically. <laughs> he said, better Probably strap up. Man. Yeah, so big. So there's a lot big of people artists for, for their side in Chicago. I don't know, man. I don't know. My advice to Chicago rappers would be, once you get to a certain point, move out, man. Live like Chief Keef. See what Chief Keef is doing? Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in that. I wouldn't want to yeah, live in like Get out. Live like Chief Keef. Man. Duck did, just... Duck did a lot back home, but he should have been out, bro. Yeah. Rest in peace to FBG, Duck. I liked his music still. I did too. So. I think his biggest song was probably Slide. Yeah, Slide was definitely his biggest. Slider, even right now, is more of like an older song, but Slide more recently is probably his biggest song and shit. I think he had colder tracks, but Slide is the one that blew up. Yeah, that's, so that's what got him signed. Mm. From what from what I can remember, mm. it's a big track. Well, rest in peace to FPG Duck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other note, back like Cook Crack Man is back home. Yeah. Joel Santana. Dipset, dipset. <laughs> Came out with a mini fro and shit. Yeah, got brand new teeth too. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See when he went in? <laughs> Yo, you needed that song. <laughs> you needed that, man. Good good to hear, man. Yeah. I grew up like a, a fan of Joel Santana. Yeah, I like Joel. Like, bro, I was man. like a weird, stupid fan of Joel Santana growing up. I wore bandanas and shit. Bro, Joel's was nice, bro. One of my favorite <laughs> tapes is always Joel's and, and Wheezy. I wish that album ever dropped. Mm. But their mixtapes together? Mm. They had good mixtape songs they, back they had, then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like Joel's lyrically. So I hope I don't know how it's gonna sound like though, cause he wasn't really even making music like that before he went in. You want to so, hear music from him? If it's gonna be good music, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want to hear him trying to like sound like none of these young sh- New York kids. Yeah, as long as he comes with his sound that's kind of updated a bit, then because he has things to talk right. about now, right? Because people. Talk about his bid and shit. His bid, certain <laughs> things, all of that. What Listen, led to that? First of all, you went to jail for trying to bring a hammer to the fucking airport. You was a fool, bro. You not even like. It. <laughs> Yo, he must have been high. The man trying to. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't try. He did run away. He got away. He Yo, got I don't away, know what's bro. wrong Good with job. you. You did get away for a hot bro, second. Bro, and it's not any airport. It's JFK. Yeah, like nine eleven and shit. Like yeah. they're not playing over there, man. This guy's tripping. Now I'm trying to sneak that hammer through the airport. Holy <laughs> shit. So they sat your stupid ass down for that, man. That was a, that was a fool. <laughs> that was this a foolish one on his behalf. Good good daddy's home now, though. Yeah, I'm glad he's home, though. Actually, 
I just want to see growth. I want to see how he does, like, even outside of music. I want to see what... Because he, he could be doing a lot more, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, Cam doesn't have to drop an album, but you know Cam is doing well. He does so much other things. Mm-hmm. We so, was talking about Cam yesterday. Yeah. You're not flea no more, bro. You Cam can't dress, bro. <laughs> I don't care what niggas want to talk about. Cam, you can't dress like that, bro. You gotta get a, get a camera Yeah, right he's not even one of the top guys like that. Like, Fab is, like, 10 notches, like, I just want to bring that no, up. Fab, Fab, Fab is different, but yeah. Yeah, Cameron, you're not that guy no more. <laughs> not that guy no more. Bro. He had it for a minute. I fuck. Yeah, had I everybody fuck rocking. I think. Just had to throw some out there real quick. Yeah. What else do we got next? Oh, nines, bro. I'm happy. Who's about nines? time? UK nines, brother. Yeah. Nines is one of the, the best to ever do it out of UK. He might be one of the guys that maybe not like UK along with gigs, bro. No, definitely not Nines. Definitely not Nines. Are you the one that sounds boring? One of them sound boring, bro, and made me just want to go to sleep, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know if it's Nines or Scraps. On one of you guys made me want to go to sleep, bro. I like Nines. Nines is different. Nines, is, he's been quiet for like a minute now, for like the last two years. So he has a lot to talk about with this, with this, with this album. It's called uh, Crab in the Bucket. He should be 10 by now, right? <laughs> well, yeah, well, if it was, <laughs> he could have been. Nines, tens, elevens. Yeah. I don't know. Where did he get the name Nines from? Jordan? Jordan Nines? That was his favorite or something? Could have been, or, or a nine, the strap. Mm. A nine in it. Yeah. Or nine knives. Nines is like literally one of the originators out there still like he put on so much people yeah yeah put on so much people mm. i'm excited because like he's he has he's been quiet for like at least two two three years since last album drop was like one foot out mm. one foot in but then he got stabbed so much happened within those he like there's so much stories UK. to talk about because like he got stabbed not surprised scrap guy artist was stabbed yeah it's bad still <laughs> But their beef is deep. Like he has, that's like another day story for that. But I'm just excited. I'm just excited because his music, all of his tapes, are all classics to me. He has no garbage album. Mm. That's my my type of music. So. Speaking of the UK, what are your top songs of the week? Yeah, I got my guy Quen Face back at it. With uh, what is his name? Quang Face from Quang Zone 2. Face. Yeah, Quang Face. No comment. Swing It, that's a big tongue. That's actually a big, big track. I didn't. I heard some of these songs. I'm not sure which ones I heard, so I'm not really going to go in on them this week, but your name is <laughs> Wild, Quang Face. That name's Wild. Swing It. Yeah. Then I'm going to listen to all these for sure, though, to make sure. We Want Rates. You probably heard that already. What is that? That's Motion a group? Skirt. No, that's just one person. It's, uh, his name is Somali. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> we want race. We want race. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, just What's play Emotionally called? Scarred. Emotionally he goes on Lil Baby's... Uh, oh, you went on the same beat as Lil as Baby? As Lil Baby, but yeah, he mm. snapped on that stuff. You can't just go on a beat like that and not mash it up. I wonder what car he wants. <laughs> I wonder what car he wants. <laughs> then ambush started. Ambush with, started. Yeah, with double R and R A. Mm. You probably know R A already. He had a track with D B. Oh, okay, and, yeah. yeah. So R A is back. That was the only that. song I heard from R A. On the D B song. Started. I didn't hear that one. No. No. Then abracadabra. With Mastermind, Crash It. I actually like this track. This came out two days ago. Abracadabra. Abracadabra is on it right now. He's just been snapping everything. The last couple of songs he's been dropping, he's, he's on something. Mm. So I've been bumping anything he drops right now. RM Warning. It's another big song. Mm-hmm. I like. And then uh, d Black Oh, it's R-A and then that's R-M. Yeah. Okay, so R-A and R-M. Okay. R-M is... I started bumping RM not too long ago, mm. but he's not bad also. Then D-Block D- Europe, 
they're actually signed to B Block, the digital Block Hero. Young ads and Dirt Girl. Bike LB. Dirt Bike LB. Yeah, we won. That's a good song. They make like their UK accent is not heavy because they mm. make like all of those melody, auto tune type of song. Mm. I like their music. I think they make good music. Well, what you got? Up north Sunday's, right now. Sunday's top UK song. Nah, here we go over here to Toronto. What do we got? First song is The Crook Hopper. Never disappoints. Yeah, man. Like, I, we he's, always say The Crook is... Like, grown all man, Toronto rappers? Grown man raps over there, bro. Like, some, some, some Toronto artists don't really make the grown type music, but The Crook is always one to count on for me, personally. And he's different, because, like... Sometimes Shout he doesn't even say him. bars in his tracks. Mm. He just goes off. Mm. I like I like that track a lot. Yeah, just like okay. the grown man vibe, yeah. bro. Not too much kid shit. So sh- shout out to the crook. Hop up. Has he even dropped a wax track yet? Not that I heard of. On this, no, not that I heard of. To be honest. The second song is I I don't know how to say this guy's name because I only Stand heard up. the song one time. A S F L V C K Y seven. No cap. Oh, no, my bad. Sorry, I don't know how to sp- say his name. But I heard the song was bumping slow. Man could go on slow. Shout out to him. Third was Doovie, Painkillers. The we, yeah. we already had a song with Doovie, the young before, kid. Yeah. They're, they're, I was hoping they'll make music and keep, like, yeah. Them young guys can make music. They so. do still. It's actually a good one. Yeah. Them guys know how to make music. Fourth. Man, like YG and J Neat catching up. I fucks with this track. I like this song too. They got the um, Detroit type vibe. Drake on it. Bino. They know. They know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they see this. I, they know. <laughs> I like this song, too. but I like it. Yeah. And I think they snap. I like snap. Snap. serve it to your grandmother. Yeah, Shout the down, bro. Serves, You're tripping. Serve your grandmother. That's why. So <laughs> poor granny, bro. Shout out to granny. And fifth, like yo, I didn't have a fifth song. Yeah. So I just put this on here because I wanted to say, like, yo, the Catching Up song had a Detroit vibe, yeah. but it was still their own thing. You could hear the Toronto in that. This yeah. song, Guts, fe- featuring Is Gotti Offerings, I heard it. I said, yo, yo, bro. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, 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 this yo. was a blatant <laughs> fucking Detroit Drago bit like you just copied the hell out of the it, whole bro. thing. The yeah, whole the sound song was bro. wild. Stuff. The whole, you know, <laughs> well, shout out to you. You know what I mean? I bought bare Detroit music myself. So I, I liked understand. it because I like Detroit music, but yeah, but if you, you know, you, you know, know you're 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 still. going a bit way too much with it. Yeah, you way too much. <laughs> if you know, stay off the pedal a little bit, you'd be good. <laughs> you guys wear hard stuff. Care for it, but yeah, man, that's my top five songs. Sunday's top UK songs. Go check them out. Had the names and everything up. The Crook and YG are my favorite out of that list by far. Mm. Popping with the news, man. Popping locally. We're in Edmonton. (coughs) Popping locally around here, man. Yeah, fucking 13-year-old boy. Got charged with manslaughter. Like, small, uh, I can't remember what town it's called, but it's by Wetaskiwin, which is like greater Edmonton area. 13-year-old. For shooting a 10-year-old. 13-year-old killed a 10-year-old. Yeah. That's it's crazy. sad. It's I'm sad. older than both of them together, bro. Like, but that's just mad young to be murdering. With things like that, murder. I look at it as like, why is this 13 year old even have a gun? Even could find a gun. Easy so that comes access. down to the. And then why would you want to shoot a 10 year old? I don't think I wouldn't have done some shit like that when I was 13, man. I don't know what be going on in kids' minds. So. Some of these kids don't know any better, man. They think it's like a toy, and then they just let off. Prayers go out to the ten year old family, family yeah. even the thirteen year old family, because now you got to deal with. Well, he's scarred for life, you know. He got he manslaughter is still, but he's never gonna be okay after that. Nah, because, no one's okay in that situation, but yeah. especially shout out to family of the ten year old. Twenty twenty has been crazy, man. Crazy. Old. Fuck twenty twenty, bro. Twenty twenty. Scrap begging, it. Bro. What else is what's popping world worldwide, man? Crazy man, pray out for Lebanon. Explosions happening all over the place, man. Yeah, pray out for Lebanon and Beirut, their capital. Where's Beirut located? 
in Lebanon. It's in Lebanon, right? Yeah, it's the capital city over there. I seen that explosion. There's been a lot of videos that came out. Yeah, bro, that shockwave for that explosion was crazy, man. Like it's it's it's, it's sad. But see, you never know with life, bro. Instantly, shit just could go left like that. Yeah. Nobody that morning knew what the fuck was gonna happen, and just prayers to everyone that was affected. You know what I mean? Our condolences. Canada Rest in peace to life. anybody that lost their life. Cause I could only imagine what it would be like to be around something like that. Yeah, man. Like I've never experienced no type of explosion like that. You know bro, I mean? imagine how nine eleven felt too, right? Like mm-hmm. even though it's. Different circumstances, but still, like a lot of lives are lost. Reckless Explosion. storage of fucking materials that could blow up, shit like this. Like, you'd think like you would take care of something that could blow up like that. You like, know what I mean? You're just sitting on a whole mini bomb in the city is kind of crazy. Shit that could take off all of downtown. Yeah, like whoever was in charge of that, you're a real fuck up, bro. You use Mister Honorite of the Week or Mrs. Whatever. Whoever's responsible for that, bro, because that's a lot of that's a lot of shit. Just what was it called? Aluminum, aluminum nitrate. Yeah, something like that. They're explosive. Some fucking chemist type shit. Like, from last I checked, was like a hundred some people died, over a couple of thousand injured. That's it's probably the number is probably gonna go up too, because like the more they dig, the more bodies they find. Mm-hmm. So it just just keeps lining. I just pray, because it's been rough over there for them. Like Lebanon is going through it, so I pray for them. Mm-hmm. Salute to Canada yeah. for helping put together Canada's relief for Lebanon. Lebanon or Beirut. There's Nova Scotia just donating like one, one million or something like that. That's Some good, million. man. That's good. Good to see Canada helping out as usual. We What's need- happening in Ontario, man? What's going on in Ontario? Finding dead babies. Damn, man. I suppose. In Lake Ontario? Yeah. Durham Regional Police. Was it an abandoned baby? Someone just dropped a baby there? Yeah, like a mother dropped a baby. I don't know. It was from anywhere from like just born to up to four weeks old, they said. Yeah. Yeah, so just just dropped the little boy in the fucking... In the lake, man. Why do that? Like, just go, go at least... Give the baby up to somebody if you're not you real Ben just got a baby moment, but yeah. in the water. That's I understand it's tough, you know, like some people don't know what to do, so they don't get rid of the baby and when the baby comes they can't take care of it. At least go to like at least somewhere give and give, give chance, yeah, you know I mean? to a family that's gonna raise it, at least. But don't try to kill the baby. That's basically what you're doing. You know, if nobody but found the baby, the, the baby would be dead. The mother dead, you know? That's crazy, man. People are tripping, man. Mm-hmm. Stay off the drugs. Whatever they were on, stay off the drugs. Mm-hmm. I would stay off the weed, but as Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked. Man, rest in peace to the little boy that was found, man. Yeah, man. That's, that's cool. not nice to hear stuff. But, yo, another thing that happened over there was the Saudi crown prince sent a hit squad to kill a former spy. Can you hear about that story? Uh, this is my first. Holy. Oh, the shit, they were called the Tiger Squad. Yeah. Yeah. The Saudi prince <laughs> got together a whole squad to go kill a spy that's turned over and whatever. He has all this type of information that they want. Yeah. So they tried to kill him. And they're probably going to keep trying to kill him. Yeah. So Those guys have money, man. I hope so, you stay so safe, sir, because it's fucked up to have the Tiger Squad after you. Like, I don't even <laughs> <laughs> Tiger nah, Squad. They're not playing. All of them got booked when they when they first came to Canada. Mm-hmm. Only one of them got through. All of them got booked. Because they all came, they all went to like different deaths and shit. Mm-hmm. But then they all claimed that they didn't know each other. So whatever, they got turned back and shit. Mm-hmm. But they found out that they were there to kill a former spy. So, we pray for you too, sir. Make Hope it. the Tiger Squad don't get you, man. So I'll put that out there real quick. His head gotta be on a swivel. Yeah, yeah keep man. that head on a swivel, man. All right, man. Canada versus USA, bro. <laughs> Trump versus Trudeau, man. Yeah, Trump. Trump needs Trump to up the tariffs, bro. He dropped the tax on the work. I don't yeah. know what we're gonna do. Trump is tripping, man. 
To be honest, if we're to go against America, we would get fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> bro, we're size yeah, of California. Up, yeah. <laughs> we're size of Cali, Yo, bro. They have bare people over there, bro. We don't have, we don't have that much people. Yo, Our army's actually have pretty... To fight, like, each one of us would have to fight like 10 people or something. More than that. Like, I think it's, it has to be more. Than, they, they have, 10 times we have 38 as million. As they have 200 yeah, million. Like, it would be, for every have... one of us, we got to <laughs> fight like 20 of them, bro. Like, we're screwed. Uh, We're screwed, bro. We're fucking screwed, man. Well, who do you got in a one on one? Trump or Trudeau? Trump can't fight. Yeah, Trump can get your ass whooped, bro. Yeah. But in Trudeau a ro- don't look tough, bro. In a roasting session, Trump would win. He'll still. beat the shit out of <laughs> Trump, bro. Trump, Trudeau. Unless Trump got some. Trump might get the bear hug off. Like... He might. Yeah, you don't want to get too cold. Trump might give you the bear hug, Trudeau. You gotta relax. I'll be. I'll pay money to see them fight. To be honest, uh, I think Trump was probably fragile as shit, though. Yeah, he looks kind of fragile. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking orange man, you know. You know the people that talk the most shit is the ones that can't fight. <laughs> That's what Trump is. You think he's ever had a fight? Never. Him or life. Trudeau? You think they've ever thrown <laughs> no. fists, bro? Trudeau might have thrown fists. He might have. He played he probably played hockey, so he probably threw some fists. In the hockey, man. yeah, but Trump, I don't think so. Yeah, I got ten on Trudeau still. I got ten on Trudeau. Trump said, "I had a rough. I got a small loan of one million dollars for my. <laughs> you know, he never had a hard day in his life, so he's never fought nobody. Mm. Yeah, I pay money to see them fucking duke it out to keep it funky." <laughs> Ford tried to give his little two cents to yeah, claim that. Yeah. We'll kick their butts all over the place. That's what he said. Like, this is fucking, we will, we will rock you. That's how he feels, though. <laughs> I think Ford will fuck both of them. And we will not kick their butts, bro. Like I said, it's like 1 to 20, bro. Yeah, there's too much of them. And you can't even fight one. So you're not even helping us, bro, Mr. Ford. <laughs> we'll get fucked up, though. He, I think he should fight Trump one on one. Ford would definitely win. That might be a, <laughs> yeah, that'd be the that might fight. be a better fight than <laughs> I think that's Trudeau a better... and Trump. Yeah, I think I like that one better. Trump versus Ford, twenty twenty four. That probably be the most watched <laughs> fight ever. Celebrity boxing, yeah. hold the event and shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Down to sports, man. This year, this year. This I year, this year, space man. Well, playoffs is about to kick off. Like Most shit about a couple sports. of days, NBA playoffs. Who, yeah. Who's in the playoffs? Who's the top? Who's the top? Yeah, Lakers on just each. Lakers just clinched the first place to, uh, in the West right now. Mm-hmm. And you got uh, Milwaukee first on the East. Raptors is second. People are sleeping in my Raptors. Heavily. Second in the East. Yeah, second in the East. I who? think. It's going to be an interesting playoff. What are your picks for, like, the finals? Who do you think's facing each other? I'm taking Raptors and Clippers. Raptors and Clippers. And, uh, that'll be amazing. That's, if, like, that's my Kawhi pick. faces the Raptors in the, in the finals, yeah. that'll be crazy. I see that. Raptors and Clippers in the finals. Mm-hmm. And if it's not them, and what are your other two choices? My other two, I would pick... Uh, I got Milwaukee... Mm. And Lakers, mm. so LA either way. Yeah, the the only you got reason two mega teams in LA because both shit. LA teams are a problem, and they yeah. have. I don't. Lakers are gonna have a problem first round already with Portland, mm. you know, because if if Portland makes it, they're one game away from making the playoff. Basically, okay. they're one game behind Memphis. So if they have a tiebreaker, they're gonna have to play like a four game tournament mm-hmm. to see who's gonna make the eighth spot. But Lakers don't want to see Portland first round because then you have to play against Melo, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Damian Nicolo. Lillard. That that Portland team is scary. Got the cover of the 2K game too. Well deserved. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Lillard to get the cover still. Keep He's the game. most underrated player in the NBA, so I think he actually deserved that. That's like the first thing he've ever gotten in the NBA. You know. They they always did, some, but it made sense because like you had Westbrook averaging triple double that year, mm. Curry, 
the West was so deep. Chris Paul, like, so much point guards, right? Mm. Personally, though, I think Damon Lillard is my favorite. I think he's the best one out of all. I think he's got a rap song in the tuck if he wins the championship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see him leaving Portland soon, but he might have to. Damon Lillard. I think Raptors are going to repeat, though. Let's go Raptors. I think Raptors are going to repeat. People keep sleeping on Raptors. Mm. The media never talks about the Raptors at all. They don't say anything about the Raptors. They slapped the Lakers the other day. Mm. You know what they talk about? LeBron James. They go to LeBron. LeBron talks about the Raptors. Like People don't understand how good the Raptors are because you basically have the same team that won the championship, but Mm. everybody got better. The Mm. only thing that happened is you lost Kawhi, but at the same time, everybody got better. Mm. Like, Pascal went from averaging 16 points last year to, mm. like, 24. Van Fleet is averaging 18 points, basically. Mm. Kyle Lowry, like, 17. Ibaka, we're, we're a deep team. Mm. And we could defend the Lakers, Clippers, and we could shut down uh, Milwaukee. Mm. You know what I mean? So People sleep Go on the Raptors. Raptors. Get this second chip, man. That's it for my sport today. All right, man. It's going to be more gossip, exciting next bro. week. It's popping gossip, you man. Jake sending shots at Movado on Instagram. Yeah. You hear Movado's diss track? I heard it, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, but apparently, Drake took shot at him with that track, too, with, with Hedy yeah, One. Yeah, I guess he mentioned some things. That yeah. I kind of, that probably went problem. a bit more in my head. I missed that part. Mm-hmm. But then I heard Movado's diss track. I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's how Drake raps, bro. Like yeah. Drake has little little sneaky shit like that all the time. I don't know. He sent shots, and he hopped on live with Popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, took a shot with him and shit. <laughs> think Popcorn's gonna defend him? Yeah, I think if if it gets like you know to that point, I think Popcorn's gonna ride out. Send out send out a diss yeah. track. <laughs> what else, man? Jake Paul got raided. Yeah, I seen that with the had a few hammers in the spot. The straps, a few hammers in this. So no bro. fight. I was actually excited for that fight. Him and uh, Nate Robinson. Mm. Nate was gonna fuck him up. People on their side. I see Nate on the thing. The niggas is looking. Like, Nate is he's ready for bro. battle stuff. I don't know if he could fight. Oh, I seen his thing in the ring. Nate, Nate. He's yeah. ready. Yeah, I think re- Nate is ready, bro. Nate he called the cops on Jake Paul then. Huh? Nah. Yeah, bro. That, Jake snitch on Jake. That's his second t- time right now because he's already been caught. And then Nate snitched on for <laughs> right nah. before the fight. Leave that out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's got a big and ass fucking Rubik's cube outside his house. Have you seen it? Who, Jake Paul? Yeah. Yeah. It's just fucking big as hell, bro. Holy shit. Why do you have so much hammers, bro? I don't know. Well, hopefully he's all right. I don't know. Hopefully he didn't do too much. Nothing too crazy. Mm-hmm. Swiss Beats wants Jake versus Kanye. I don't want to see that. No. Nah. I don't want to see Kanye on a versus. He's too, like... I want to see Kanye to sit in the corner mentally stable before yeah. people get him into shit. Because, yeah, yo, I, I, give, I care about Kanye, bro. Kanye has done a lot. For music, but yeah, for, for sure. musically... Stuff like that. He's a genius, but he's not okay, man. Like, the way he just lashes Old out. Those geniuses are crazy. Yeah. Kanye just needs a break from from everybody, from the world, from fucking... Yo, imagine walking around every day, there's cameras in your face. Mm. Every fucking day. I don't want to see Kanye in no verses. Nah, we don't want to see Drake versus Ace Swift. Sorry. Well, if you want to do it, do your thing, bro. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to that. Lil Yachty was acting spicy. Then he got mad because people were commenting about him. Yeah. Well, don't be spicy, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Cut the spice out, bro. Stop acting weird, you know? Yeah. Then you're fine. Nobody's going to diss you, bro. Like, you're Stop an entertainer. People are going to comment on the shit you do. You move spicy a lot. A lot. Like, that's yeah, that's the spicy. second time, right? Or third time, no. He's spicy all the yeah. time, bro. Niggas got to check that nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of checking niggas, someone got checked takeoff. Yeah. Well, allegedly, he raped a girl at a party last month or two months ago. Some shit. Hopefully, he didn't do that. Hopefully, he didn't do it. Yeah, hopefully, he didn't take off like that, but... 
The reason I don't like jumping to shit nasty, like that bro. quickly, cause like, not saying a lot of this shit is fault, but a lot of these women come for these celebrities to make a cloud, fact. right? That's a fact. So, I hope it's not yeah. true. Just allegations at the moment. Yeah, you know what I mean, nothing set in stone. So hopefully you didn't do it, and hopefully, ha- cause for me, if you didn't do it, then hopefully something happens to the girl for the claim. Yeah, cause we gotta see, we gotta see that more often. Man. You can't just be making false claims on people and getting away with it. So, if you didn't do it, I hope something happens yeah. to the girl too. And and if you did do it, you're fucked. Cause like, bro, you like you, how much money you make? Like you get any girl you want, bro. Yeah, this like, is all about, I read the without I read the money the headline you get girls, said yeah. that he was staring at her all night and she didn't want him or some bullshit. And then some next guy was with her and he got mad and argued with the guy and then yeah. he came in the room and basically gave her the... Yeah, he just went too far. Nah, he's wildin' though. He's wildin'. He's tripping. Makes and no sense. Dr. Dre's he's getting sick. a divorce. Dre getting a divorce? Yeah. Yeah, i seen that. But he, his girl signed a prenup, but she's trying to fight it. She said yes. she got tricked to the prenup. Yikes. Hopefully that prenut, <laughs> that prenut sticks, bro. Cause when did he get married to this lady? Ninety six, ninety seven. My my tripping. I think they've been together for a while. That's pretty long, then. I'm I keep don't take my date off mm. for that, but I'm I'm pretty sure they've been together for Hopefully. a long time. Hopefully you can keep your money, bro. Cause that's a lot of money to to <laughs> just have to divvy up half, man. man this billionaire half Holy of that is gone. Yeah. 500 million gone. That's fucked up, man. Well, I think we're done for this week. Yeah. You know, I have nothing else to add? Not too much this weekend. Yeah. Easy week and shit. You know what I mean? So I have more next week. Probably have a couple interviews coming up. Stuff like that. Oh, we I didn't talk about local Edmonton music, bro. We have someone. Oh, he might yeah. Have, he might have <laughs> dissed a few local Edmonton rappers. You know I'm about mean? to plug him in. Yeah, a little he, quick. Might, he might have dissed a few locals, you know what I mean? I don't want to say no names. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's his name? 780... 780-King? 780-King. Oh, man. Let me see this. Man said all you Edmonton rappers. What do you call it, Jack? harder than me? So he's like, he's talking to all you guys still. See, all you guys have to defend that. And he said, let's feast. That's what the track is called. Man said you guys ain't even <laughs> stay ten toes down, bro. You guys are gonna let that slide? Holy shit. And he named himself the 780 King. 780 King, bro. Like he said he was the king. He said all Edmonton rappers. Like he didn't have to say your name. He's <laughs> talking about you stuff. Call them all out. They don't stand on 10 toes. That's what he said. <laughs> you guys don't stand on 10 toes. That's Is that true? Funny. Yo, nothing, nothing else local. Nobody else dropped. No yeah. new Money Mitch. No new DVX. No new Mark Angelo. No new nothing yet. It's been stale around here still. Yeah. Yeah, Edmonton rappers been stale still. So you guys are lacking, bro. Ain't got nothing yeah, to I say. Need, I need some fire, <laughs> side, some, something, something to talk about. Yeah, it's been stale around here still. But yeah, See man. how Toronto drops a track every week, every day? If you guys want to drop though. quality. But there is a lot of artists here. They got a lot more artists in Toronto. They, they, that's true. But still... Yeah, it's I been kind of stale new. for Edmonton rappers. Though. I don't hear no new nothing, bro. I think they have excuses. They're lazy. Mm. Lazy, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe us talking shit will influence people to drop some new shit. You know what I mean? Yo, it's been a couple episodes. What's the last Edmonton rapper we talked about? I don't know, bro. No. It's been a minute. We need to be talking about more Edmonton rappers. This is... Yeah. But for now, you guys got the 780 King to deal with stuff. So. Get in the booth or get the boot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm out of here, bro. Yeah, we're Yo, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cold Weekend Podcast. Subscribe to Instagram. Everything's Cold Weekend. Follow mm-hmm. on Apple, Spotify. Yeah, man. Google all Play, streaming all sites, all that kind of shit. Subscribe and like, share, share. And we're out of here, man. Hey. You rascals go
I did go make it funny. They like, it was fucking fly, and the episode could be called it's fucking <laughs> fly. fly. Yo, Sonny, what's that beat called? I don't even know. I'm gonna have to figure it out. The the he, the track is called the feast. He has no views though. He has like seventy views, seventy eight views. Bro, but that's the beat. That's the guy. Um, he's a UK rapper. 